Prosecutors say Nicole Carney was lawfully justified when she shot and killed her estranged husband, Michael Carney, in February. Authorities say the two had been apart for some time, but Michael became extremely upset when, through a mix-up with the cable company, he learned Nicole had bought another home. He got extremely angry. Uh, he called his estranged wife. He texted her repeatedly, and we examined those text messages. And it was very clear that he was extremely angry with her, uh, made some very concerning statements to her, and, and this was something that really kind of pushed him over the edge. Prosecutors say Michael sent a series of texts that included, I hope you die, and on my way there. The attorney general's report says Nicole says Michael Carney went to her house three times that day. On the third trip, authorities say he kicked in a door that was locked and deadbolted. Nicole was on the second floor with her five-year-old daughter and armed with a rifle. She repeatedly told him to leave. He didn't. Uh, he was extremely angry. He told her that she owed him an explanation, and he started up the stairs. She's telling him to leave repeatedly. He's not leaving, and when he gets to the second floor landing, she fires two shots and kills him. Authorities say that Nicole immediately called police and cooperated fully with the investigation. The report concludes that Nicole thought Michael was a threat to herself or her daughter, and the shooting was justified. Certainly, it's unfortunate for everyone involved that it had to come to this, but individuals do have the right to protect themselves, and that's what Nicole Carney did. Prosecutors say based on their findings, no criminal charges will be brought against Nicole Carney in connection with this shooting. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Andy Hershberger, WMUR News 9.